yes yes and what is important is ki hum so i'll i'll actually i'll, I'll get into this one thing that re- i really hope it helps people so there was this surah it's called surah al asr and that completely changed not just only changed it actually gave me a sense of direction as a muslim as a believer and i'm really going to get into a lot of details so if i i hope people can no but yeah, this is all yours this, this, this yeah. yeah yeah so allah taala begins so this is i told you okay um, in the, in this part of the quran allah taala gives you very it's it's very powerful it's very powerful and i remember koi ek scholar the i think it was imam imam shafi who said that um just surah al asr if if a man was to contemplate on just surah al asr it would be enough for his guidance so um i'm really going to get into this now ke surah al asr se kaise mere change ho gaya ke i read about it i'll begin verse by verse it it said um wal asr allah taala swears by time allah taala swear in by time and we have to understand how important time is that if the person who it sorry not the person the one who created time is swearing by time how important it is we just waste our time so much and we don't realize that it is the only one thing the living person has it's time the yeah. one who is dead if there's one thing that he has lost out of the many things he has lost is time because the time is what in in what you do everything this is the time aap time mein hi sab kuch kar rahe hain isi waqt ki kasam i wait once i'll just get my charger ye off hona hai just one second so yeah i'm telling you about the process that this is is allah taala swears by time and then allah taala go, allah taala goes on to say verily by time everybody is in uh, um well asr inna al insana la fi khusr that all of insan all of mankind is in khasara khasara matlab loss and the loss that is mentioned here is not something simple sa loss it's a great loss it's a great loss that is mentioned verily by time indeed mankind is in loss so you have to understand this is the one who created time telling you that you know what all of you are in loss the people who think they are so successful and so amazing and you are in loss then allah taala goes on to make an exception he makes four exceptions uh, you know wal asr innal insana lafi khusr illa allazina so then allah taala says except for those who are those now illa allazina amanu the first thing allah taala mentions here is everybody is in loss except for those who believed so ye pehla step up this is what is the distinguishing character between somebody who's not in loss and in loss the iska pehla criteria is belief you cannot expect ke aap bahut acche kaam kar rahe hain but you do not believe you do not have iman in your heart you do not believe in allah taala all of your deeds are in loss everything is in loss so and hum lag raha hum bahut kamal kar rahe hain going back to surah al asr ye to pehla tenet tha that you believe right you believe and when you see ke hum jab hadith mein jaate hain aur prof mas ne bataya ke main kis cheez mein iman rakhna hai iman billahi wa bil akhirati wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal yawm al akhiri wa qadrihi wa sharrihi wa khairihi wa sharri yani hame iman lana hai allah taala mein unke angels mein wal malaikati wa kutubihi his books wa rusulihi his his, his his messengers all of them yeah wal yawm al akhir the day of judgment and destiny divine decree the good of it and the bad of it so this is iman this is what you have to have iman in then when you see again go back to surah al asr i was telling you ke allah taala goes on to make four exceptions first for was for people illa zid amanu that these are people who believe to ab hume samajh mein aa gaya belief kya hai second wo amalu saleh these are people who did good deeds inhone amalu saleh kiye aur amalu saleh aap wahi karenge jo hame quran ne jis tarah samjhaya hai i would request everyone that they read ayatul bir 
ayat of righteousness and there allah taala tells you ke actual righteousness kya hai hum kaise you know it said that prabhu masa sam ne ek cheez boli thi ke that none of you are believers jab tak tumhe apne bhai ke liye wo cheez pyari na ho jaye jo tumhe apne liye pyari hai and we think about it hum jab sadqa de rahe hote hain hum jab zakat de rahe hote hain hum itni raddi se raddi cheez utha ke dete hain and allah taala says in the quran that none of you will achieve righteousness till you spend out of what you love ayatul bir ani ka it's ayatul bir it's in surah al bakra so then allah taala says amal sole we we uh, you do good deeds then the third thing what the waso bil haq that they called one another to truth they called one another to haq kyunki aisa kaise ho sakta hai ki aapke andar iman hai aur aap dusron logon ko uske bare mein na bataye how can how, you can nahi ho sakta aapse and i'm not saying this ki as as in as 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 a, a statement of shame but i'm saying this as a statement of love like it cannot be that there is something that has changed your life and has gotten you to a point where you you know and you don't tell somebody else about it and this is one of a very important purpose that we miss out to call one another to deen क्योंकि हम कुरान में देखते हैं टू थिंग्स दैट आर ऑर्डर्ड एंजॉइंग राइट एंड फोबिड इवल दो चीजें हम कभी कभी सिर्फ एक दूसरे को फोबिड इवल कर देते हैं एंड वी डोंट कॉल वन अनादर टू राइटनेस और वी ओनली कॉल वन अनादर टू राइटनेस और हमारे आसपास इतनी चीजें होती हैं हम नहीं बोलते हैं हम नहीं उसके बारे में बात करते हैं and uh, we all of us are guilty of it and it goes back to the same thing that from us us humne apni zindagi kis cheez mein lagayi thi he spent his entire life doing this one thing for allah taala and call, he, he called one another to truth and the last thing what was so this sab they call one another to patience and this is something that gives you so much hope that you realize that the path of deen is not going to be easy it's going to be really really tough sometimes and this is what reminds you of the purpose ke hum kitni baar kabhi kabhi sochte hain ki hamari zindagi itni mushkil kyun hai हम इतनी परेशानियां क्यों हैं क्यों हो रहा है ऐसे हमारे साथ या क्योंकि अल्लाह ताला कहते हैं कुरान में दैट आई क्रिएटेड लाइफ एंड डेथ सो दैट आई कैन टेस्ट यू व्हिच वन ऑफ यू आर बेस्ट इन डीड अल्लाजी ने खल अकल मौत अवल हयात अयुकुम अहसन अमल मैं देखूं कि तुम में से सबसे अच्छे अमल किसके हैं सो दिस इज वॉट यू रियलाइज दैट फोर थिंग्स अगेन गोइंग टू सम दिस अप लेटर कि first thing is belief you need to have iman and you see it actually of course allah taala kehta hai al hakim hai he is the wise you realize allah taala ki hikmat us aap jab dekhte hain surah al asr ka jo order hai ki pehle iman aaya iman ke baad amal saleh aaya amal saleh ke baad tawassul haq aaya aur phir tawassul sabr aaya kyunki pehli cheez aapki iman hai 